Hi there, and welcome to Basically Longarm Quilting, featuring the Innova Autopilot Mach 3. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the boundary and echo functions within Autopilot. So, let's check it out! Okay, so in our software, uh, first thing I'm going to go for is to look for the pattern that I'm looking for. So I'm going to come into my pattern library, and I'm going to be looking for this pattern called Beaded Feather. It's a pattern by Joyce Lundergan that I've added in. And I'm going to choose this one. And I'm going to click Close down here at the bottom. And the next thing that I want to do is I want to draw a boundary for this block that I have on the quilt. So I'm going to click on the boundary function, and I'm going to use an input of sew head, and then I'm going to use the uh, morph to fit method. So if the block isn't perfectly straight, it will morph it a little bit to fit it. And what I'm going to start with is take my machine head, and I'm going to start at the upper left hand corner of my block, and I'm going to press my right handle button, and that's going to start my point placement for my boundary. Now remember, boundaries are a four point process. You're only going to do four points, so the four corners of your block. So I've done the upper left, so let me come down here to the lower left, right there in the corner, select that point with my right handle button, go to the lower right of the block, my right handle button, and then go to the upper right hand of the block and press my right handle button. And you're going to see on the screen that it, once I press that right handle button, it's going to close that boundary off, kind of gray shade it out like so. And if I move my machine out of the way, I'm also going to click on done. And now that's set up my boundary with a quarter inch margin that's set into it. And I can take my pattern, I can drag and drop, it and it will fit it to that boundary with a quarter inch margin. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into my transform tool, kind of my home base, and I'm going to select my pattern. Now I want to put some echoes around this just to kind of separate it um, from what else is going on um, in the background. So I'm going to size it down just a little bit so we can play with it. And I'm going to come into my echo feature, which is right here. And I'm going to do an echo type of ripple. And now what ripple is, it's going to be individual echoes on its on the outside. And we'll take a look at that. Uh, quarter inch spacing, I want to do the outside of the pattern. And I'm going to click on echo. I've got three repeats. Click on echo. And you'll see how it'll beautifully place those echoes around the outside of this. Now if we wanted to do a spiral echo, as you can see with these ripple ones, they're all individual echoes. If I do a, um, an edit, undo, or control Z on your keyboard, either one, I can go to spiral and click echo. And what spiral does is depending on the pattern, it starts from the ending point and it will move up and start to spiral around. It really depends on what pattern you have. Um, like with this one, it's more of a squared off section. Um, you could round them out. It's all personal preference, just depending on what you're working with. So I did an undo. Um, and let's go back with ripple and echo. I like this the way it is. So once I'm set with those echoes, I can go back to my transform tool. And now my original block and my echoes are separate pieces. I want to go ahead and group those together so I can size this properly back to my boundary. So I'm going to select these, go into my group tool, and group them together, and accept that. Now when I go back to transform and I select on the pattern, now it's all one piece. Okay. So what's really cool is if I want to size this automatically back to that quarter inch margin, I can click on boundary again, make sure I click done, and then if I click the pattern, it will automatically resize back to that margin that I had, which is really, really nifty. It kind of resizes it. There's no need for me to go in and stretch it all back to fit. Now, if I want to change that margin after I'm done, let's say maybe I didn't want a quarter inch, maybe I wanted a tenth of an inch, I can right-click 
on my boundary. And at the very top of my right click menu, I have boundary. And I can go to resize margin. I'm going to change this to, let's say, a tenth of an inch, so 0.1. Click OK and click set. I will then click on my pattern again, and it will automatically resize to that tenth of an inch margin. Once I'm happy with that, I can go into my transform tool, make sure I save my project, and then I can click Go. Once I've clicked on Go, it's going to ask me to click Continue so it can move to its first starting position. And I see a picture on the screen of what it's going to stitch, so that's my indication that I need to pull up my bobbin thread. So I'm going to take a single stitch and pull up my bobbin thread. And then I'm going to click on Continue on my screen. Hold these threads nice and taut until that machine stitches away. I can trim my threads out. And it's just going to work around this block as it goes. So it's going to come up here to its ending point, do its finishing stitches, and this is going to allow me to pull up my bobbin thread and cut it. So I'm going to come in, take a single stitch, and I will cut my bobbin thread. Always give it that little bit of an extra yank to pull up that extra knot. Trim those threads away. I'm going to click on continue on my screen, and it's going to move to its first echo point. I'm going to take a single stitch to pull up my thread. Hold those threads nice and taut, and press continue. And you'll do that same process all the way in your, around your block, uh, no matter how many echoes you have. And we are coming up around the last few edges of our third echo. It's looking absolutely stunning as it's filling it out. That close margin really fills up the block really nice um, and gives you an absolutely beautiful finished product. So we're done here. We're going to go and pull up our threads one last time, cut our bobbin. Trim those threads, and we can press OK on our screen, and we are all done with the Boundary and Echo block. Thank you so much for joining me today and learning more about how the Boundary and Echo functions work in Autopilot Mach 3. I'll see you next time on Basically Long Arm Quilting.